The first important point is to state that topical hyaluronic acid only gets through into the skin when it has been chopped up into shorter fragments. When these segments enter the skin, they never behave as hyaluronic acid. This statement includes Hyacare 50, which contains hyaluronic acid that has been broken down into 50 kilodaltons in size, and that can penetrate the skin. The only function of these fragments, as shown in laboratory research, is that at 50 kilodaltons, they can stimulate the CD44 system that initiates the production of natural hyaluronic acid, which is totally different. It is a very long chain and can absorb vast amounts of water and plump out the skin. Smaller size fragments do not do this. And besides being useless, they can actually irritate the skin. The second molecule is Optum Hyal, which does much of the same thing, but this is a ferment of a mucopolysaccharide. And it, this gets into the skin and then can stimulate the CD44 system on keratinocytes as well as on the fibroblasts to produce even more natural hyaluronic acid. You have to understand that we need to produce hyaluronic acid as much as possible because we lose about 30 to 50 percent every day. I should take this opportunity to remind you that Environ has always used the most powerful stimulant of the CD44 system, vitamin A. So that is why Optima Hyal and Higher Care 50 need the vitamin A to ensure that they can make the daily enormous requirements of hyaluronic acid.